Greetings, I'm Randy 2.0 of the Blinky Do Academy. Today I'm here with Mr. Jason, and we're going to show you how to do a science experiment. How old are you, Mr. Jason? Ten. Ten? So you're in tenth grade then? No. No? What grade are you in? Fifth grade. Fifth grade? Would you get off to a slow start? No. Is that a normal grade for your age? Yes. Oh, okay. So you didn't fail rolling over or something like that? No. No? Okay. I was going to teach you how to turn this purple cabbage into a variety of colors. Okay? Yes. Cabbage can also be red or blue depending on the soil in which it grows. Peel or cut about 100 grams of cabbage for every one liter of water. Boil and stir until the cabbage becomes a translucent green color. Then collect the cabbage juice. Okay, now that we got the purple cabbage juice cooked, We've poured it into seven beakers. You can use seven cups. The key here is that we want to make it translucent enough to see the color changes. And with this, we can hopefully make seven distinct colors by adding different acids and bases to the solutions. Okay, so first thing we will add is vinegar. And this is basically acidic acid juice, which is the thing that makes vinegar have its sour taste, all right? So go ahead and pour in the acidic acid solution into the first one, and we'll see what color we get. Oh. I think so. Yeah, you might not need it all. Well, you can already see. Uh, that's probably enough there. Now take a chopstick and stir that around to make sure it's mixed well. So you can see acidic acid turns it kind of a bright red color. All right, looking good. So why don't you put that chopstick down? Okay. Now we should be able to use just a little bit of acidic acid to get a reddish purple color. Take a pipette and just add maybe a squirt of acidic acid. There you go. Squirt that in and then stir it around and we'll see what color we get. Hopefully it's not too red. Oh, that looks great. So now we have a nice reddish purple. Okay, and set that down. Now we'll just leave the purple as it is. So that's neutral. Now the most difficult one to get is a blue color. And to do that, we're going to add a little bit of baking soda solution. And you don't need very much because the blue color is very close to the same pH as purple, okay? So take a pipette. Mix in the baking soda until you get a blue color. All right, that looks blue to me. Okay, now the next one we wanna get is turquoise color. That one needs a stronger alkali, so let's add more baking soda. For this one, you can probably squirt in the whole thing. So it's definitely becoming more turquoise at this point. Turquoise is about as far as we can get with just baking soda solution. In order to get a, a more distinct green, we need to get a stronger alkali, so we're going to switch over to sodium carbonate, which is kind of like uh, laundry detergent, okay? So let's um, blast that, and you can yeah, just probably blast the whole thing in. Okay, looking good. Oh yeah, we have a very nice green on that one. Now, this will eventually turn yellow over time, but it's kind of a slow process. So if you want yellow right away, you need to have a stronger alkali. I'll help you with this one. So we're going to put in some sodium hydroxide and that probably will take about 30 seconds or so to change to yellow. Okay, now we have created seven distinct colors, which look very lovely. What do you think, Jason? Are you happy with the colors you made? Yeah. Very good job. At this point, I want to measure the pH level of each one. So let's start by using some litmus paper to test the pH level. How about you dip it into the red one? And then just compare it to the standards on this box. And what do you think? 3.5. 3.5. Looks good. Yeah. Very strong acid there. Okay. Let's try the purplish one. Reddish purple. It's a lovely color. About 4. 4. Yep. Somewhere between 4 and 5. that 
and definitely get a very dark purple on this one. Yeah. So the pH 11. is definitely 11 or above. Okay. All right, happy times there. Okay, we're back and now you notice that we have all clear solutions. That's because Mr. Jason wants to take a shot at changing all the colors in one fell swoop. So what we've done is match the pH levels that we had before for the various colors that we have. So this is the moment of truth, Jason. What do you think the chances are of your success? Do you think you got them all right? Do you think we're gonna get the seven colors we had before or something close? Yeah. Yeah, you think you're feeling confident, huh? All right, are you ready to pour? All right, let's do it. takes a minute. <laughs> it's okay. All right, you can tell that one's a little bit more yellow, uh, but usually that one takes a few seconds to completely turn yellow. I think you did it. I think uh, it's a pretty good job there, Mr. Jason. You got all of the pHs right, and you have seven distinct colors, and so what you can do if you want to make a TikTok video or Instagram video, you don't even need to be in the video. You can just create them ahead of time and then just pour right over the top and maybe just see your hand going by. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Uh, it's it and that's that, we'll see you in the future. Take the Oinkadu Academy animated video-based color changing cabbage course to learn in-depth science about acid and alkali reactions, molecules and moles, the pH scale, color changing pigments, and additional techniques for creating colorful cabbage juice. Click the link to Oinkadu right after you smack the like and subscribe buttons.